Good morning, my friends. Welcome back to another StarCraft Remastered Ladder Cast. If you've been enjoying the content recently, make sure to subscribe. And if you want to see Brood War live forever, hit that like button for me. We've got DeWalt in the top left hand corner, Flash in the bottom right. And this is a kind of a continuation of what began in an earlier video of mine. I'll put the link up here in the top right hand corner if you haven't seen that video already. The Walt met Flash on the ladder. I won't spoil the results for you. But this is going to be continuation of that series. We have plenty of games here to watch. I'm very excited to see what kind of adaptations both sides can make. Especially Flash, who's just come back. He hasn't been showing the greatest uh, performance versus Protoss. A Nexus first here from DeWalt. No surprise there. Getting greedy. Worked out very well for him in the last game. It was uh, incredibly successful against Flash's very slow, methodical style old school type of Terran versus Protoss play. I think he's a little bit surprised and maybe taken off guard by how much TVP has changed in just the last few years. And I think a lot of us didn't really realize it or didn't recognize it and how much it's changed until we saw Flash struggle to perform in this matchup, despite being pretty solid in the, some of the other matchups. Having some decent results against Zerg and Terran. Putting up some very good games. He's been struggling hard against the new styles that uh, I think players like Best and Snow have pioneered. And at DeWalt, other Protoss players, as you should, have been emulating them. So, going into a... Nexus first here with a single gateway. Not going to be putting DeWalt in a super big advantage because we do have a Gasus Fast Expand here for Flash. It's a pretty even matchup, I would say. Nexus first to Gasus Fast Expand. He might even be able to force away a few probes, potentially. There's only three Marines here and one Zealot. Could be bullied back with some good micro but a dragoon coming uh, pretty soon as well if he stands on the high ground ridge it's gonna be very hard well he walks by and in walking past the marines are able to get quite a few pot shots on this and because they got those pot shots the zealot is not going to be able to engage too readily here is few marines making their way into the natural he will get to force these probes back that is a big win in and of itself just getting those probes to run away is going to help the waltz cause another probe goes down or help flashes cause excuse me another probe so uh, up to two probes killed but all the marines will be chased down well maybe not this one but the three marines that made their way to the front are going to be killed and DeWalt will get back to mining. So, I don't know. It's uh, an interesting exchange, what we just saw there. Three Marines for two probes. Might be worth it. Yeah, it's hard to, uh, hard to parse that one out. Looks like DeWalt is considering going for a very fast third Nexus. Again, this style of play worked out very well for him in the last game. Will Flash be able to punish? An armory is on the way. This is all very reminiscent of what we've seen in all of our Protoss versus Terran series with Flash. He likes that very early armory. And he tends to go for sometimes a three factory expansion. Sometimes four and five factory expansion. But he always gets his starport on time to get plus two upgrade rolling right away. And that was the typical standard Terran play for the longest time was to make sure you had that star port started right as this upgrade hit about the center point of that bar. And in doing so, you would have the science facility out in time. 
and you would be able to hit a very solid 2-1 timing push or potentially a 3-2 if you wanted to go to four bases before pushing out but that doesn't work too too well against protoss players these days who are apt to go for far more aggressive expansions and also incredibly brawly mid-game plays where they're bringing in tons of shuttles they're going for reavers to slow you down from taking your third base and they're getting into a huge amount of sometime shuttles sometimes even double robotics facility to just pump out an insane number of shuttles and then run you down dive on top and zealot bomb you to death before a fourth base can even come online everything is looking on curve right now honestly this is exactly what I was expecting. Look at that. Flash is doing the honest to God Terran style that was so popular when he was on top of his game. When he was the best in the world. He's still considered, I would say, among the best in the world, but this is an outdated style. They were witnessing right now and it's going to be going up against what is a very modern protoss play taking a super quick fourth base here at seven minutes 30. we're likely going to try and get the third command center out around 8 39 minutes something like that but the army's going to be very small and DeWalt will be able to put together quite a good fighting force with a lot of shuttles, a few Reavers. You'll probably have speed. Yeah, speed shuttle coming up. And on four bases, you'll be able to field a very large army. Four Goliaths. That's kind of more modern. The four Goliath style. I'm not sure if Flash was doing that back in the day, but... Is going to be taking this high ground ridge pretty good position here so far but four tanks only six now hitting the field that plus two is about to start i imagine oh flying into the main right now reaver gonna bail out in the main base can he get a big shot nice hit there three kills already can he get any more looks like not but Oh, that actually dudded. All right, never mind. He gets an, a vulture as well. Oh, diving in here on top of the tanks. Also, tanks being kind of left alone over here. A few dragoons did go down, but this is a pretty good multi-pronged attack from the wall. He's got four dragons left, so he knows that he can jump on top of these and uh, two-shot these tanks. But he sacks another three dragoons for one more tank. Not the greatest trade in the world. But he knows that Flash is unlikely to push right now. And just three factories coming across this map would be pretty hard. There's the plus two, plus uh, one. And DeWalt going to get his fourth base mining. When all said and done there, I think that this was a pretty even trade. And so Flash is going to be feeling pretty good. We'll just see if he can hang on to this third base or not. His tank count is not that high. We don't have double robotics just yet. Templar are going to start to come out here pretty soon, though. And with Templar and Storm and five bases, the fifth base about to come up now. Flash might be having a bit harder of a time. He's still got the four Goliaths to shoot down the shuttles. They two-shot those shuttles. It's a nice break point for the Terran Force. Another shuttle flying in towards the main here. Looks like he might want to go for that. Ooh, dropping a single Zealot. Try and eat some damage. Doesn't end up getting a Reaver shot on the third base, but he's moving around with a flanking force. Just going to probably make sure that there's not a base already over here. At the center right would be pretty greedy if flash had that already but i wouldn't be surprised to see a, a fourth cc pretty soon maybe he's gonna build it in the main maybe down here or something uh, meanwhile 
Reaver drop coming into the natural. Let's see what kind of damage it can do. With the barracks floating there, you're going to take a lot of hits uh, as you're flying in. And Storm is not ready. We have some Templar out. But it's probably not the greatest idea. There it is. Double robotics. A lot of gateways. But there's a lot of factories as well. That's six factories. Seven over here. So... That's quite a bit of production for the Terran player. This is 8, 9, 10. Got three more gateways than his opponent has factories plus double robo for pumping out those shuttles. This is a pretty even fight. Let's see how well it's executed by DeWalt because I don't think he's going to break Flash on three bases. I believe he's going to wait for a fourth base attempt from flash he doesn't have any additional gas just yet still sitting here on just the two waiting on further upgrades he starts his three two as two one completes we're gonna start to move towards taking that base oh drop into the main right there and a drop into the natural at the same time let's see if we can catch all the action looks like that storm drop going to whiff completely I'd like to see him go back and pick up that reaver those storms do get thrown down here, but Archon going to be forced over in that corner. Does go back and pick up the Reaver, but will, will not continue this harassment. That was some great defense by Flash. He pulled away his SCVs here at the natural immediately, instantly. Even though this distractionary drop over in the bottom left of his main was, you know, dealing a bit of damage and... Pulling his attention, he managed to pull everything at the natural and avoid catastrophe here with 58 workers and a bunch of Templar just killed. I think Flash is going to be feeling quite nice in this position. He's grabbing his fourth. He'll just be battening down the hatches here on 163 supply. He's not ready to push yet because those upgrades are not quite hitting. Only 2-1 is done, and he just needs to wait a little bit longer. Get some turrets up. Get some more factories down, probably. And boost that supply a little bit more before attacking across the map. And what can DeWalt do in that time? Well, he's going to come in with a bunch of Zealot Bombs here. Dropping on top of a lot of these tanks, but the tanks are covered by vultures and the zealots just disappear. Wow. All right. Flash made that look kind of easy. Four shuttles. Absolutely repelled. Not able to deal any damage to these tanks. Not able to, well, able to deal a little damage, but not able to kill any of these tanks. Which is kind of the goal right now of the shuttle Templar style. Is you need to get in there. Deal with a few of the tanks. Start to pick off some of those tanks. So that a little bit later on. Uh, you're not going to be facing, you know, 20 tanks or 25 tanks. Uh, as the main force comes out. You want to be slowly whittling down that number. So they can never hit that critical mass. Now... Breaking into the third right now looks a lot more doable. There's really not that many mines and tanks over here. Most everything is set up over at the third, but it looks like he wants to, or fourth. Looks like he wants to go into the fourth though. A lot of zealots. Need a few Templar in there as well. First storm, pretty good. It hits quite a few of these tanks and vultures, but. The rest of the storm's not doing too good and not hitting many of the SCVs either. So this is not going that well so far for DeWalt. He is going to clear this up. Oh, that was a pretty sick scarab. Kill both vultures and both mines. Over in the top right, there's a bunch of cannons finishing up here. And he should be able to pop out a few units as well. That's a lot of vultures coming up here though. It's a pretty big commitment from Flash to send this much of his supply over to the top right just to get rid of these probes. Seems like it will be successful and a lot of stuff is dying right now to mines. This is not a good handling of the situation by DeWalt who's attempting to take multiple bases at the same time, right? He's trying to take top right and 
bottom left at the same time here comes a big storm on the high ground he hits a lot of these scvs dropping the total count to 50 but the damage that was done to him wow even killed the nexus Jeez, that's so many vultures that got sent out and he's going after the nexus in the bottom right oh my goodness so dewalt in splitting his army and hitting both or trying to save both locations ends up losing uh in fact both of these nexus are the next side the top right hand corner and the bottom left this is not a good situation at all dewalt is going to be limping for the next little while as his supply lower overall than flashes and he really doesn't have time to kind of dive in and deal any damage to flash he's not lowering that tank count at all and we are going to see that push out with like i said 20 or so tanks oh i'm hearing some storms whoa 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 there we go storms on the low ground dropping the sev count quite a bit but the problem right now is this tank count is way too high we've got 12 how many is this another 12 24 25 maybe tanks total very very scary army it's making its way over towards the natural army coming out from dewalt from both these two angles this rally point in the top right is going to be helpful but i don't think he can stop this army guys this is looking frightening can't break through here either two tanks over the ridge is going to be a pain in the butt to attack into it's like a counter attack right now we're going to go picture in picture as the uh, natural gets exploded by flash dewalt trying to get in here but he's not going to be able to run past these uh, vultures and mines looks like he will kill the third at least but meanwhile his main base is going down this base down here in the bottom left is going to get taken. But I don't think that DeWalt can make up for the losses right now and actually still fight the army. He's going to start to lose. Gateways in the main. Pylons in the main. At the same time, center left will be killed. So as that Nexus falls, a lot of the probes are going to be gone. There's no Nexus in the top right just yet. So DeWalt is scrambling to pick up everything he can into some shuttles and drop it on top of these tanks to take a good trade. Let's see how good the trade is here. Reaver, Zealots dropped on top of everything. More Zealots being dropped here in the middle of these tanks is actually providing a pretty great overall trade here for DeWalt, but he's going to end up losing a lot of these shuttles, unfortunately. Zealots once again going to be picked up here. He's trying his best to clear out tanks on the periphery. But Flash sending another force over here towards top right. Great rallying from DeWalt. He's going to have some force to deal with this attack, but looks like he taps out right before this army can make its way to 12 o'clock. Yeah, it makes sense. He was falling way too far behind. The dropping just didn't pay off in this game. Seemed like Flash was on top of everything. He wasn't able to do... Like, that big attack right here. Where he dropped four shuttles worth of stuff on top of the tanks. And it did nothing. That, I think, was the big misstep here. If he had attacked into the third, of course, the army would have had to shuffle down. And deal with this. But there was not that many tanks over here. As long as he clears the mines first... What am I saying? He probably would have been able to bring most of the tanks over here in time. Hmm. Yeah, this is a tough game. Flash really did a good job here. Uh, he played basically the same style, though, as last game. And DeWalt didn't punish him nearly as hard. Let's see if DeWalt goes a little bit harder on the eco this game. Tries to get a big advantage over Flash. If he's just going to continue to play this style, I think that that would probably be the right way to punish See if DeWalt agrees. We're going to jump into game number two. All right. Game number two here with DeWalt versus Flash. I went back over that last game and I noticed that unlike Motive, DeWalt didn't get too many storms in the advancing army. And what I mean is in the games I saw with Flash versus Motive, consistently when Motive was playing this exact same style, as Flash was pushing across the map with his mech ball, he... 
Motive was doing the same sort of like little counter attacks, hitting his uh, outlying bases. But at the same time, he was dropping Templar in front of that big mech ball and dropping storms on top of it over and over again. As it was coming across the map, he just kept on storming. And even if it wasn't killing a lot of stuff, it was deeply softening up uh, many of those tanks. And then the later Zealots to clear the, the containment, uh, Zealot bombs were doing wonders. They were killing off so much stuff. And he kind of dismantled Flash in that series. So if you want to check that out, definitely take a look at my channel. Motive versus Flash. I think it was a six game series, five game series, something like that. And Motive really showed how kind of weak that old school Terran style is in this modern meta. But see if DeWalt can make the same sort of magic happen in this game because Flash does not seem to want to change things up at all just yet. He is sticking to his guns. He's playing it out like it was one of his previous ASL championship runs. Just solid standard Terran mech from about three to five years ago. And as impressive as it is, his style, his fortitude with this build, I would like him to see him go for more of a modern style. I want to see his take on the more modern Terran versus Protoss tech. And here he's not going to be going for a Gasus Fast expand, instead going to be getting a Vulture expand going, which is a more modern style of play. He will be getting the third Marine. I saw previously he uh, opted not to get that third Marine and paid the dearest price for that. Ended up taking a horrible trade and losing all of the Marines and then being severely on the back foot. Now he's lost his SCV at the front. And well, this is something interesting. He's going to pull the boys and go after this Nexus. This is not a Nexus first, by the way. This is a, a gateway here. He's actually blocking the ramp. He's trying to keep the second Dragoon from reaching the front. This is kind of interesting because Singularity Charge is almost done. And I mean, we're going to pull probes. I'm a little bit surprised about that. Nexus going to cancel. Yes, it does. The Nexus canceled here. Second gateway should start. There it is. And we will we'll just clear this um, as soon as possible. Well, wow. Is he actually going to try to run up this ramp? That seems crazy. Sniping down one of the vultures. That's a nice move. We know that mines are going to be coming soon. Just going right up into the main. Good kiting here so far from DeWalt. He is going to start to lose health on this one dragoon. Vulture over here on the right-hand side needs to be dealt with. Cannot allow that to just hit our probes. And so he will go after that. SCV being targeted. All he needs to do is kill the remaining Marines. This is some great control from DeWalt. He's going to lose this one Dragoon. He loses the one on the left-hand side as well. Or the right-hand side as well. But another Dragoon pops out and he's got one Marine in the bunker. We can just kill this. Just stand there and just kill it. No big deal. This bunker will go down. Marine tries to run away, but the bunker gets killed. I don't know what Flash exactly was thinking here, especially going up into the main. This is kind of crazy behavior. It feels like a limit test here from Flash because this is, again, not a Nexus first, and the uh, range upgrade was not skipped, and he should have been able to see that with the SCV that he had in the main. He should have known exactly what was coming here from DeWalt, but uh, as it stands, uh, he's going to try and push in here once again. The tank's just going to get run down. And as the tank dies, GG is called. Flash taps out. Wow, that was a game. An interesting sort of limit test game here from Flash. Um, I don't really know what he was going for, honestly. Let me go back a little bit and see what the follow-up was here. I guess he was going to take a, a CC. That seems 
crazy to me. I thought he might be like double two facting and just trying to win. Um, but he was actually going to try and take a CC after that. Wow, I don't, really don't know what much to say about that, guys. Um, maybe some Protoss versus Terran uh, players can can let me know in the comments down below. What do you think Flash was going for there? Have you ever seen that work? Because I don't think I have. Um, that seems a little bit wild. It worked in that it killed the Nexus, but I mean, going up into the main after against someone who's just pumping Dragoons and making range, it feels uh, a little bit undoable or untenable. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. We're going to jump into the next game. Okay, another game here. We've got DeWalt in the top left-hand corner. Flash in the bottom left on the purple. You'll love to see it. Purple Terran. Strong, boys. It's strong. I have a feeling Flash going to win this one. Let's see what happens. Looks like he's gonna be throwing his fat or his barracks, excuse me, out in the front. Let's see if this will be a gasless. It's looking that way thus far, but I have to wait and see. Gateway on the way for the waltz, and let's um. See if he takes that gas. He does. So I have seen some people go for just a gateway right into Nexus. I don't think it's the strongest thing. And if you're just starting out on the ladder, if you're playing a Protoss versus Terran, I would suggest not going for anything too fancy. A simple gateway opener with a ranged Dragoon. Uh, into a Nexus is probably the most solid way to go. You don't have to worry about early Zealot harassment or anything. You can get the Range Dragoon out. You can harass the Bunker if there is one. In this case, there likely will be. And you can get your Nexus at a very reasonable time. Here, DeWalt's going to be slightly behind. But if you're just, like I said, a ladder player uh, who's struggling to learn the matchup, I would say... This is still completely playable. And you probably might even be ahead after an opener like this if you get a lot of damage on the bunker. If you're able to grab that Protoss tax, which DeWalt will be going for this game. A lot of Terran players will fold. They will buckle at a lower rank. Just get two, three, four Dragoons hitting this bunker about there hitting the bunker outside of range of the marines and if they don't have repair on time you can just win the game um and if they are repairing constantly they might miss up their build you know they might miss a supply depot it's just the extra pressure uh will get to some the you know, lower rank terran players it is what it is very hard to juggle all these tasks especially a task as important as repairing if you're not totally on top of that, you can just suddenly lose. So, we will have the Protoss tax. He's going to get over here. Start to take his tithe. Not sure if that's the right word. I know that's something to do with the church, but... Only played Manor Lords for a few weeks. Not a, not a true Manor Lord just yet. And as he takes that tax... The SAV back at home. Gonna go down? Well, that's actually not there yet. So the tax is, is coming. It's gonna be a hefty sum. We'll see just how much though. Engineering be on the way here. It's just being safe. Guess he didn't really see too much. Maybe he missed this pylon. I'm not sure. I'm just being safe. Making sure that he's got uh, some detection to make to, to, to cover all the bases. In case there was some sort of DT on the map. So as that finishes up, going to grab a turret. Maybe right there. Maybe right here. Not sure. It's a bit of a hefty tax right now as there's no tank. It's just begun. There's already three goons hitting this bunker. Pretty annoying for Flash to deal with, but... It's got a missile turret here well and truly far back inside the base. It's going to be hard 
if there was a DT coming for these dragoons to run forward and jump on top of that missile turret. So I like the positioning here out of flash. But that's not the case. It is just that tax being taken from the Terran coffers. Just for playing this race, that is the tax you must pay. Land the barracks back a little bit here. Looks like he's just going to wait for siege mode. Nothing fancy. Nothing, you know, he's not going to run forward here and try to poke the dragoons outside of siege mode or anything like that. DeWalt, perfect pullback timing. Getting the absolute maximum amount of tax he can. And then running out of there without giving anything back. <clears throat> like a true professional. Now we have turrets here in the main base, but there's quite a large hole here on the left-hand side, and that's gonna be kind of covered by the turret in the main here. We'll see if DeWalt wants to try and exploit that, because it could be a bit of a trap. If you fly past this turret, you're only gonna take about three, four hits, but as soon as you get to here, outside of the range of this turret, you will start to get hit by this one, and that could force the unload right there, which is not the greatest. And it could also force the shuttle to go down. And like, if you just fly right in here and drop, you're gonna end up losing that shuttle. That could be a bit of a sticky situation for DeWalt, but I'm getting ahead of myself. He's just building four gateway goon with the robotics and observers coming out and going immediately into a what looks like a fourth base potentially. He's already got three up and operational. But here comes Flash with a serious move out. Five tanks coming out already. Two vultures, quite a few marines. There's the observer. He catches onto it at a really important time right now. If this tank push had reached this position right here, if he gets into that spot with all the tanks lined up against that wall, you are going to be in a world of hurt. So it's really good thing that he got uh, caught on to that right away so that he can preempt that get over to this position and stop Flash from getting too good of a spot here. He is gonna still get from this high ground a pretty decent position, but Jumping on top of this quite quickly. He's just gonna go right after these tanks. Two tanks go down already. This is already a much weaker attack now that those two tanks have fallen, but plenty of Dragoons do go down, clearing all that. Another wave of four Dragoons reaches the front. We've got shuttles on the way with four more Dragoons coming out shortly. One mine getting thrown down here. The one tank does go down in the background. We have a bunker about to finish up in the front the marines will survive long enough to get in there which makes this position that much harder to break but as long as we have some zealots popping well we don't have any just yet we should have a few zealots coming here soon he actually needs to put down another pile on there looks like he will we don't want to be losing um okay he's gonna jump on top of the last couple of tanks here we go We'll pick that off, going for the second tank. Easy peasy, those both go down. And the wall in is safe. These dragons just gonna be sacrificial right now. Looks like they're gonna get out of range of that bunker, eventually pick that off. And the vultures will not be able to do anything. Excellent handling of the situation here from, from DeWalt, but Flash is gonna bring up some more units to try and fight this. We have the shuttle now. Zealots have not been picked up. Bit of mismanagement here by DeWalt, unfortunately. Does need to get the, that shuttle over there. Pull the army together here. DeWalt, we're starting to fall apart a bit. Don't be losing uh, units like that. He's going to pick up his probes. Well, that's not what I was expecting at all. I thought we were going to see two Zealots and a big bust. We've got a lot of gateways up and running. You know, eight gateways right now, so we should technically be able to produce enough stuff to deal with this but instead he brings the probes home I'm gonna relocate back to the natural and let this base go down 
Uh, I don't know if this is the right call, but it's the call that DeWalt is ready to make right now. And some more vultures gonna come running in here towards the natural. There are zealots on the field, but they do not have speed. Which means they're kind of beholden to the shuttles to get them into position. However, there's no shuttle present at the moment. There's the shuttle now coming forward. He must save this Nexus right now. That's so important. He forces the Unsiege. And a Reaver here is going to be very helpful. That was a great Reaver shot. Another good one should be coming out to finish this tank off. Looks like he will survive. That Nexus. Look at how long it's taking to kill this Nexus. I really do feel like DeWalt could have saved that. Had he just uh, brought the shuttle with a couple of Zealots over to this position. You can see there's not many tanks. But he ends up losing so many pylons. He's not quite supply block. But I mean that was like 5, 7 pylons. Something like that. We had 1, 2, 3... Four, five, six, maybe six pylons. Because there was two built in the back of the wall to try and bolster that defense. That's quite a lot of minerals to invest. Not really get much out of. We've got the army moving around the right-hand side. A little bit surprised to see DeWalt doesn't have vision on that. I guess because the turret here may have killed the earlier observer. Which is a bit sad. We have a drop here. Okay, drop into the natural. Not sure how that made it in there, but it's got zero kills. Uh, probably not going to need to picture and picture that one. Might have caught it on the minimap. This army making its way back home now. And allowing that to get back home is... Ooh, it's it's rough right now. Uh, that, that does not feel good. This is the more modern style. Look at what we're seeing out of Flash. He went for plus one attack. He's going for plus one armor now. He's on five, six factories. Uh, executing really strong pushes. And just keeping his supply very high. So I really like this adjustment from Flash. This is a much more modern style of play. And it's uh, way better at more adept at handling what DeWalt is trying to do and you can just see the results right now are speaking for themselves he's running through DeWalt not able to defend this latest push very well done by Flash cool to see man really really cool to see him going six factory on three base with no second upgrade I know it sounds a little bit funny but this is what is necessary now against the current style of Protoss play. And this is even better. Look at that. He's got the starport on the way. He started it right as plus one armor was nearly complete. So this is perfection. We hit timings. We deal damage. We keep our supply very high. We get a third base on 1-1 one -one upgrades. We don't overbuild SCVs. We keep it tight. And we win games. This is this is fantastic play from Flash. If he plays like this and he continues to play like this, I could see him taking games off of motive for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure, he could take games off of motive with a style like this. Could he take a game off of snow? Now that I'm not too certain of, but... Maybe in the future we'll find out. Guys, stay tuned. We're going to jump into our next game. A very nice performance out of Flash in that last game. Showing us the power of the modern Terran style. Let's see if he does it again. Whether or not he believes in this style will be important for the future. If he thinks it's good, if he thinks it's strong and continues to practice it, Maybe he'll become the best at this style, or maybe he'll formulate a new style for others to follow. Let's see what happens. We always think of Flash as a bit of a trailblazer, but he has been out of the scene for quite some time. Maybe it takes a little bit longer to get back into that position of being a trailblazer uh, than just, you know, refining others' play. I think that's uh, a given. Gateway here at the ramp, near the ramp. 
But the Nexus first at the front. This is a bit of a greedy play from DeWalt, but nothing out of the ordinary. We often see plays like this, single gateway with Nexus first. It's a little risky, but it can pay off if your Terran opponent doesn't opt or hasn't optimized for a large scale SCV pull and a kill on this Nexus. It could end up paying big dividends here. So let's see what Flash does, what Flash brings out to shut this down. He kills the probe on the map, that scouting probe. Very important kill there because uh, if that's still alive, we can see if the SCV pull is coming or whether there's just going to be a CC getting thrown down. That can be a really big tell. A cannon in the front. Very cool stuff from DeWalt. He is going to preempt this Marine SCV push. But Flash is adding on a machine shop. I think we're going to see tank push out of him. There was one match that we saw before previously. Where Flash was able to take a game off of a very strong Protoss opponent with this exact push. He was able to build a bunker outside of range of the cannon. And then push in with Marine Tank. It was quite the nutty game. Not something I thought I would see repeated again so soon. But it's really looking that way. Tank pops out here. DeWalt sees everything. How will he respond to this? Do we need Reaver immediately? Do we need extra cannons? What is it that will be the answer? An extra cannon thus far. It's going to be at DeWalt's choice. Citadel of a Dune. We're going to get into some DTs ASAP. Only Supply Depots tanks. Siege Mode and Marines are being built at the moment. So no detection whatsoever. If he manages to buy enough time for a DT to pop out. We should see a win actually from DeWalt. But... If Flash gets in for far enough to kill the Nexus. Oh, and oh my, oh my gosh. This is, this is slick. Slick, slick moves from DeWalt. Oh my gosh. He starts an engineering bay. This is going to be tough. I'm, I'm not sure how to call this one, guys. These probes need to bail out of here, like, right now. Let's see if he can get a shot. Oh, my God. Five kills. Well, really paying the price for waiting so long to pull those probes back to the natural. It's definitely the right choice, but he could have made it a little bit sooner and saved himself quite a lot of pain. Coming up the ramp now, a turret being built back at home. That is a very key part of this uh, strategy here. Having the turret will keep him safe from these DTs. However, one DT being made here, one DT being made back at home. Can DeWalt save this? I don't like him coming out with probes fighting against siege tanks, but hey, it is what it is. You got to do what you got to do, I suppose. DT here, almost done, but GG is called not even gonna wait to see if the dt can get in there for some damage instead just gonna tap out here that's a little bit rough but this push is looking scary against the nexus first single gateway really does to, uh, seem to have some good potency maybe in the future we'll see players uh protoss players get a little bit more aggressive with their scouting and as soon as they figure out that this is coming drop that citadel immediately because i think if he had dropped it a little bit sooner i feel like he hesitated uh slightly in in trying to eke out like what exactly was coming here uh he dropped the citadel if he had dropped it a bit sooner he could have gotten some dts out on the field a little tad bit earlier 
this could have been a very serious game now we're gonna jump into our next game flash snags that one away with a cheeky tank push here we go into our final game of the night flash here in the top right the walt in the bottom right yes if you guys have been watching this entire series you've made it this far congratulations you are a true fan of brood war and of me and of these two players dewalt and flash thank you so much for being here and i just want to let you know that tomorrow or actually right after this video comes out in fact uh, maybe a couple of hours uh, after i'm going to be doing a live stream with my man zero it's going to be on the 7th of july uh, it'll be on his channel i'll make an announcement about it uh, on my channel as well but it's gonna be a lot of fun it's the finals of the kcm style bsl tournament the new one the race championship series where they use pretty much the exact same uh, format from kcm but they're doing it with players like dewalt the man you're watching right now he's been in there quite a few times so we're gonna be watching some awesome awesome finals action it's uh zvp as i said i, I think that's what it's gonna be <clears throat> well let's get into this game we've got no nexus first here from dewalt on radeon instead he's gonna be throwing down a gateway and no gas likely a zealot gonna be coming out here followed by a nexus so that build i was talking about earlier is gonna play out now he comes into the main he sees the gas has been taken but this forward positioning from flash is indicating something of a cc an early cc so he's not gonna mine really heavily off of this gas in the main and he's gonna opt for a faster cc and a later factory timing which is pretty much what dewalt is doing but he can't he can do it without taking the assimilator early because flash can't really steal his assimilator <laughs> he can't really steal his refinery sorry or his uh gas geyser so a little bit of protoss privilege here he gets to skip that and get his nexus out quicker whereas flash will have to build the bunker and then he's gonna get the uh, marines for the bunker and then um the refinery well he's gonna get the refinery first then the marines then the bunker then the the neck uh, the cc and the nexus is pretty much done that is what it is flash didn't scout in the correct direction so he deserves to be behind that's how it works we've got probe now falling in the main base there's enough gas for a factory he's actually going to pull the scvs off, off of the gas now realizing that he's actually mined a little bit too much and he will pull the scvs what is this what am i even looking at right now he's pulling scvs just going across the map with a cc on the way and no factory do my eyes deceive me he sees no range maybe that's what decided made him pull the trigger no range is actually kind of huge one gateway no range now, this is going to be a pathetic pathetic army from dewalt so maybe this will work right in here he's gonna bait the zealot in immediately and kill it for free one hit from that zealot is all he'll get so he's gonna force everything up that ramp and get the uh bunker on the way how are the probes gonna be pulled will they be able to get good surface area they're not they're just gonna run to the main wow this is an interesting turn of events I don't want to see Flash go up this ramp, but he probably will because the, uh, the there's just so little here for DeWalt. Honestly, it's it's kind of a no-brainer to go up the ramp right now. But 
it could result in a loss because a lot of SCVs are falling. And now the probes are getting on top of the Marines and putting a, quite a bit of damage on them. This Dragoon in the back has now four kills. It could even get more, but it won't. Everything has to fall back now. A Reaver is going to be on the way here shortly. Range is a millennia away. So he's not going to be able to get that upgrade. I would love to see this one Dragoon run by. One Dragoon run. Go, 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 go. There's only three Marines in the bunker. And you just run onto the other side of this bunker. You can kill every Marine as it runs past. It would be very uh, worth, I would say. However, not going to be the path that DeWalt decides to walk. Instead, waiting for the Reaver shuttle. Let's see here. Dragoon's going to come uh, jump into that shuttle. Nexus is getting low. He's actually targeting the assimilator for God knows what reason. Uh, I feel like the Nexus is the obvious choice for your DPS at this point. But there it is. He does kill the Nexus. And yeah, with that Nexus going down, I feel that Dwalt is in a pretty poor position. He's going to have a really hard time coming back in this one. Most of his hopes are going to be set on this Reaver and what it can do for him. Dropping some Dragoons out on the map, even though there's no Marines in the bunker. Kind of a funny use of the APM at this time. Finally going to pick up that Reaver back at home and start to head across the map. Let's see what he can do. This is the big moment here, guys. Is Flash prepared? He has the turret ring and tanks in the natural. This is looking kind of good for Flash, I'll say. Quite good indeed. Siege mode done. Full turret ring established. What are you going to do now, DeWalt? How are we ever going to make this work? Well, he's going to come in. Oh, no. Really? We have to do something. No. We're going to turn around and go home? Oh, that's such a shame. I thought he was going to actually pull the trigger. If you come in here, drop the Reaver and the Dragoon. You can kill the, the turret very fast. And then you just come back and keep picking up dragoons there's only two tanks i mean there was now there's three but two tanks versus how many dragoons would we have this is like four dragoons and a reaver i really feel like that would be difficult for flash to deal with but instead he goes home he takes care of the bunker at least he's gonna pick up a zealot maybe what we got here Secondary Reaver, looks like, and speed. So I think we're doubling down. We have to get damage. We have to get damage with these two Reavers. There's no other question about it. And it's it's going to be when this speed shuttle upgrade is done. This is going to be kind of all in. Kind of all in. We, we don't really have a choice. Going into a third Nexus now. Uh, it's just untenable. We can't double expand, I don't think. And it looks like he might send that out to try and double expand. But if he just doubles expands and sits and does nothing, I think he will inevitably die. Flash is already ahead in supply and he's going into a third factory. He's got a good number of tanks. All he needs to do is wait and see what DeWalt does counter it properly he should be able to win this game well sending that shuttle in as gravitic drive this part of the game has not changed much from when flash was uh, active is once the protoss player has been hurt the response from Terran it's it's still exactly what you would expect just solid defense lots of turrets then a follow-up factory push five factory will do the job we don't need to get fancy here. Plus one upgrade, five factory. We're going to... It, it gets the job done. That's for sure. He's going to start to kill his own eggs. Just to open up some space. Okay, six factory. That'll, that'll do the job, but more so. He's got quite a sizable SCV lead. We're going to speed up this game a little bit because I kind of feel like the conclusion is coming. 
and it might be uh, anticlimactic so i don't want to waste your time or mine let's go forward a little bit quicker gonna get into some uh, comm sats pushing everything away now still no third base coming from the wall you might have a good number of units to fight this but dts are on the way out see if you can force some scans and potentially oh here we go let's slow it down got the reavers in the main going for a counter right now Coming off the tanks this is a good start has some kills on these reavers gonna move them towards the back he's going after the comm sat that's a sick move if he kills the comm sat he could come and kill this one and then the dts hold everything DTs are attacking, but oh no, DeWalt. This is a disastrous move right there. I mean, he's got two more, but if he just splits the, the DTs and sends them in one at a time, how can he win as Flash? Oh boy, he's going to lose the Reavers. Reavers are going down right now. DT getting some work done. This turret is about to finish, though. He needs to go after that. Otherwise, Flash will establish a position with which to push. Okay, still picking away at the edges here. And the Reavers have been brought all the way to the back. I wish he would have immediately moved after he killed this Comsat. Go over here and start killing that Comsat. That would have been hilarious if he'd actually killed both. Uh, but he's not going to be able to. And now Flash has enough for one scan. And I think the one scan will be good enough but i i really i i like this from dewalt i think he played this uh surprisingly well considered the difficulty of the circumstance he made a, a real go of it here uh by relying on invisible men and the snipe into the mavis this is like mini-esque right this is kind of a mini style play uh, that we saw from him in asl it's difficult very difficult to make it work but it's something that could actually bring you back in a completely impossible game state he tries it he tries to come out and deal with these tanks he tries to do a counter attack he gets in there and deals some good damage but he just knows this is kind of a lost cause well <laughs> it's funny to say but it's crazy kind of how close this was, despite all that's gone wrong here for DeWalt. Um, he's not going to be able to kill any of these tanks. I think he's just going to be completely contained. Yeah, that is unfortunate. He would have killed some more SCVs here, most likely. He's already got seven kills on that Dark Temple. That's sick. A lot of these are low HP, too, so he could just deal a bunch more damage pretty quickly. Oh, it's very hard to say but i think he was out of this game maybe he could have stuck in a little longer see what he could do with that dt but it's kind of a lost cause it's just man let's jump into our, our I, I guess this is the last game isn't it oh no we're gonna end like this i guess so guys that's it thank you so much for watching hope to catch you on that live broadcast today see you there